I say some of these things and I say them in weird languages just to, yeah, just to get you. You're a speaking spirit and you are a voice walker. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. So this is the third message in a series. So there's a progression that I'm trying to take you on so that we can get to a specific place. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9. And how you turn to God from idols to serve the true and living God. So we're going to be talking about serving the true and living God. And when I say the living God, Holy Ghost. And how do you know that? Because you are among them that have gone on. Mm -hmm. A couple interesting things here. How you turned to God from idols, that's called repentance. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done it, I suggest you do it. Repent. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Turn around. You're turning from the idols to serve the true and living God. And idols there, I find interesting, literally means non-speakers mm -hmm. wow. they don't speak like if you had an idol you know people that would have an idol like a statue of something yeah, well, you, you ever seen that anything. what does it say what did it say nothing, nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. it doesn't speak that's what it means it's a non-speaker wow. okay mm -hmm. so you turn from the non-speaker mm -hmm. to the living God mm -hmm. who speaks yep. Yep. say the living God, the living God. who yeah. speaks and what does he speak you know it's funny how the Holy Ghost speaks the Word of God <laughs> and so the idols are non speakers and when I say living God you say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost and if I say I worship the living God is that acceptable Yes. who am I worshiping Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost who are you worshiping Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost he's the only God in the earth today yes. the only one I'm a they that worship him yes. you like my English yeah. I abuse it on purpose <laughs> Luke chapter 4 and then verse 8 say it is written, it is written. thou shalt worship the Lord yeah. thy God and him only serve now if I say I worship the Lord my God and him only serve mm -hmm. what comes to your mind Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost see now you are on a completely different level right now Amen. we've come this far yeah. say we've come this far. we've come this far because we know who the Living God is yes. and Jesus said we are supposed to worship the Lord our God and him only serve yes. and him only serve now I'm not going to talk about the only right now because that's in Holy Ghost worship 2.1 <laughs> but I will talk about the serving part Holy Ghost worship is a completely different thing it is not something everybody else does if you've been doing it you know it and you're welcome to be in the beginning of something that has not existed yet but will begin to take us and those who participate unto the future of where we are supposed to be thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve but I will say I wasn't going to talk about the only but in the only listen in the only is everything and I talked about everything being in that room here it says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve so in between the worship and the service is this sandwiched word called only and when you get in there everything's in there and that's all you get right now Amen. are you here yes. but in the only is everything so what is this service you're talking about is it feeding the poor is it doing all these things that we know to do you're supposed to do that but that's not what I'm talking about mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God the Spirit Lord the Living God 
Holy Ghost and him only serve now when you start to know him first of all the worshiping of him which you're using words yep. is part of the service mm -hmm. the service didn't come until after you worshiped him mm -hmm. worship the Lord and serve worship and serve yeah. so how do we serve we got the worship part right mm -hmm. John chapter 4 verse 24 and I did not tell you that you're not supposed to feed the hungry and give to the poor do it right. all the time yeah. tell you about the other day I pulled up to a lady when she was out there I don't do this all the time because some people are just begging you know and, uh, this girl she looked she wasn't that old but she didn't look like she was out there trying to hustle money you know she had a little sign she said uh, homeless can you help <laughs> and I'm like uh, well so I pulled up in my car I had the roof down you know so I'm looking pretty prosperous <laughs> and I you know so I reach into my wallet and I look and see what's in there and I go oh well I got ones and fifties and some other stuff so I grabbed a 50 and I and I pull it out to her and I handed it to her and she looked at me and she said I don't have to stay here anymore Whoa. and she put the sign down and walked away oh my yeah. gosh I just got the check wow. wow and talking I went I went home and told you because I'm like that's exactly what you want to see you don't want to see yeah, oh here okay I got that now I'll go try to collect some more from out of somebody she was like she just needed the money to get out of there mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying oh, I don't know why I told that just yeah. just so you know I'm not saying you're not supposed to do that I do that of course it's scripture yeah. don't tell me I don't obey scripture <laughs> back off <laughs> anyway but I have something else to say yeah. Yeah. so we got the worship part right John chapter 4 and verse 24 why do you keep using the same scriptures because you didn't get it yet and there's more in there there's always more in there John chapter 4 verse 24 God is a spirit who are we talking about Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost God is a spirit and they that worship him I'm a they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth so the in spirit and in truth would be an indicator of how we are going to serve him yeah. right because we're worshiping him the spirit god yeah. say the spirit god. spirit god you know god the spirit yeah. Yeah. we worship the spirit god and him serve in spirit and in truth so truth we know is what the word, the word. this is truth do you have genesis in your bible God is a spirit and they that worship him so we're going to talk a little about a little bit about God the Spirit <laughs> chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning God now if your mind has been where mine has been if your mind has been where mine has been did I say that right yeah. I had to say it again because I didn't think I did then the first thing that comes to your mind is who is God Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost right yeah. let's read on in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth was without form and darkness uh, without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and here's the first descriptor he said God and then he's gonna describe God and he says and the Spirit God it says the Spirit of God mm. of is not there it just said the Spirit God moved so he's God yeah. created the heavens and the earth he's the Spirit God yeah. right that's all we know about him so far yeah. Yeah. you know we'll read more than the but if you only had those two verses he's God he's a spirit God mm -hmm. all right yeah. verse 3 and this God the Spirit God did something what did he do mm. he done said something yes. and God said let there be light and there was light and and God saw the light mm -hmm. and that it was good mm -hmm. so we know what do we know about God he's God he's a spirit God and he says things mm -hmm. and they come to pass Amen. Yeah. Amen. that's all we know about him that's it. up to here mm -hmm. does he change from that no. no yes in my mind he's completely different now no he's still a spirit God that says things yes. and those things come to pass Amen. Come on. Amen. Welcome to who the Holy Ghost is. He's still that. 
say he's still that he's still that you gotta do this he's still that, he's still that. Still sometimes that. you gotta make the motions yeah. <laughs> and then guess what he does he says things and he makes man mm -hmm. in his image. image which would mean you are a spirit being yes you have a soul and live in a body but you're a spirit being predominantly and you say things and can believe they come to pass mm -hmm. are you here yeah. you were made in his image chapter 2 verse 7 but uh, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul yeah. if you look that up in the Hebrew it says man became a speaking spirit we know God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is a God who says things yeah. he's not one of those idols a non speaker yeah. mm -hmm. he's a God that says things yeah. and they obviously come to pass then he made us in his image yes. because he wanted someone to walk with mm -hmm. and we are to say things and believe yes. they come to pass Amen. now if you want to serve said God who is a spirit and says things and they come to pass how are you going to serve said God who is a spirit and says things and come to pass you are gonna say things so they come to pass that's how we walk with God that's it that's it you can do all the worky work things you want and I'm all into the worky work things working it working it you gotta work it but it's not walking with God walking is with God is a vocal exercise a vocal discipline a vocal faith say a vocal faith, a vocal faith. you getting this yep. man became a speaking spirit yes. so if I want to walk with God and I want to serve him do we establish that yes. and so once again I'm trying to bring you into the context of who God the Holy Ghost is we're being changed from one glory to the next you know this is not the glory most people are on yeah. walking with him yeah. saying words yeah. Yeah. if we can get you to walking with him saying words it's everything's in here are you getting this yes. say everything's in, here. everything's in here why is everything in it because everything came out of there yes. everything you see see now people online are gonna go that's a fake green screen until I did that you can't knock on a green screen it goes all blue. <laughs> if you're gonna walk with God it will be by saying words mm -hmm. and that is a place where most people are not it doesn't mean you can't do the other things but it means this place listen this place of speaking in agreement with God will take you all the way there yes. Yes. that continues over that transfers over so if we want to walk with God it will be by spirit speaking Does that sound weird enough for you <laughs> it'll be by spirit speaking yeah. speaking out of your spirit mm -hmm. say I'm a spirit speaker I'm a spirit, speaker. I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. and I speaks and I speak. you gotta put the s on the end I speaks <laughs> You don't believe me go to Genesis chapter 3 and verse 8 Is this fun yet mm -hmm. you getting anything out of this yes. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 8 and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking yeah. mm. how does God walk <laughs> he walks yeah. with his voice yes. they heard the voice oh. of the Lord God wow. walking mm -hmm. God is a voice walker <laughs> he walks with his voice if you per se want to walk with God how are you going to walk with God with your voice because he's a voice walker he's made you a voice walker I know I I say some of these things and I say them in weird language just to yeah just to get you you're a speaking spirit and you are a voice walker who's the Holy Ghost speaking spirit voice walker is that in your Bible yeah. I'm just making stuff up now no and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking 
in the garden in the cool of the day in the cool of the day mean it's literally the word spirit yeah. in the spirit they heard him in the spirit walking he's a spirit walker uh. <laughs> also they heard it which means it was vocalized Come on. Okay. Yep. I have a faith but I just don't speak it out loud then you don't have a faith you got to lift up and say God's word yes. that's when you're walking with God see I I say God's word and I'm walking with God you don't say God's word and you're not walking with God Come on. people don't like it that plain yeah. that's why they don't like me because I tell them if you're not saying God's word out your mouth you are not walking with God the Holy Ghost yes. is this fun yet the Holy Ghost is God yeah. in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words have you ever heard that before I say it in front of every one of my messages and there's a reason because it's true yeah. <laughs> and if you can get this it will take you farther than you ever thought you could go you'll be a completely different person yes. When I do that, I'm slapping you. <laughs> be a completely different person. I'm like, psh, psh. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. You think you can find it fast? Amos chapter 3 and verse 3 says, Can two, say two, two. can two walk together except they be agreed? The word agreed means to literally say the same thing right. so we are talking about a God who walks with his voice if we want to walk the two of us me and God the Holy Ghost together he's in the earth by the way I'm in the earth yeah. right so we're both in the earth we want to walk together it's gonna have to be by saying the same thing yeah. could it be that simple yeah. it is that simple and you know I'm let me help you out here when your mind is like am I doing it am I I don't feel like I felt in the head oh shut up <laughs> have you said God's word out your mouth Come on, yeah. then you're walking with God in the earth today Come on. Yes. get over it yes. have you said God's word concerning prosperity yes. out your mouth yes. then you are walking with God the living God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today in prosperity it is moving in your direction yes. Amen. healing youth renewal all the stuff remember we talked yes. about he's got everything it's all in there yes. Yes. put it on put it on you go into that dressing room and you come out with layers of clothes <laughs> so we're talking about the Holy Ghost right remember that remember him yes. you remember what he is he's a spirit he is God we worship him and we serve him say we worship him and we serve him he is a spirit and he's a speaking spirit and then and the number one way we can work we can serve him is not just by worshiping him but by speaking in agreement with his word are you getting this yes. that's how we walk with God Remember that other verse we read? I think it was 2 Corinthians, and he said, I will be their God. Yeah. I will walk with them. Amen. So you're right on target here. Amen. Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. Does that mean a little more to you now? Yes. He would have had to have been saying some things go to Genesis chapter 5 even a better example walking with God the Holy Ghost who is a speaking spirit and do you suppose you can get better at it yeah. we see some of these guys they live a long time I fully believe it's because it took them time to get better at it yeah. you can get better at walking with God That's right. yeah, we can. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 24 Enoch walked with God and was not 
for God took him so he had to really get it right yes. Enoch was translated from one glory to the next glory it had yes. to be by saying the things God wanted him to say are you here Hallelujah. and that's what we're gonna do Though we know how he walked with God he had to be in agreement he was voice walking say voice walking, voice walking. is that weird you out no. good I'm in the right place yes. and we know he had a testimony that pleased God what's a testimony well that's when you money <laughs> no a testimony is a personal thing that you say and he said he had a testimony that pleased God so the personal things he said about himself had to have pleased God what would those things be it would have to be the Word of God yeah. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 and then verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death so did he see death no. no he was translated from one glory to the next glory to the next glory right yeah. Yeah. this word translated is the same exact word that's in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 where we are changed in the changing room from glory to glory yeah. it's the same Greek word Enoch was translated meaning he was changed that he should not see death and was not found because God who God. Holy, Ghost. Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost good welcome had translated him does God translate people yes. meaning does God change people yes. does God change people from one glory to another yes. glory yes. where does he do it in the changing, in the changing room, room. So the longer that you're in that changing room, you will be changed from one thing to the next thing yes. to the next thing to the next thing until you are Enoch yep. translated. Come on. Amen. Amen. By faith, verse 5, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before. Say before. Before, before his translation, before he was changed. Are you still here? Yes. Is, am I still speaking English? Yes. yes before he was translated he had something he had a testimony he had things he said before he was translated he had things that came out of his mouth and those things that came out of his mouth pleased God are you here so where will this take you oh you 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 put too much emphasis here like it'll take you all the way I didn't put the emphasis it's the word the word wrote it out pretty clear yes. so the things he said resulted in being translated from one thing to the next thing from one glory to another glory this is our destination get it straight say this yes. is my yes. destination yes. how are you going to get there same way Enoch did by speaking in agreement with the speaking spirit himself God the Holy Ghost yeah. change from one glory to another glory yeah. we will walk with God the Holy Ghost until the earth can't handle us anymore That's the opposite of cave theology. You've heard of that, right? Mm -hmm. I call it cave theology, where the church is going to go into a cave. It's going to get so bad and dark in the last days <laughs> that they're going to have to go into a cave. You need to buy my rations. Mm -hmm. I got some rations here. I'm going to sell them to you, rations. And you can take them into your cave and hide out until you get all stinky with your stinky brethren. That's right. <laughs> no. This is the complete opposite of that. This is us going from one glory to the next glory in every every realm every realm You won't even recognize yourself the where you're at now will not look like glory To where you will be yes. Are you here and we go from glory to glory until the earth can't take it anymore And then just like Enoch
Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. See, because I read 5. And then we'll go to 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Him who? God the Holy Ghost. God the Holy Ghost. God the Holy Ghost. For he that comes to God must believe that He is. Wait a minute. He is what? Number one, He is God. Number two, He is God in the earth today. Number three, it's His will that I walk with Him and He'd be my God, I'd be His people. Yeah. Are you here? Yes. For he that comes to God must believe that He is and, say and. and. It's a big and here. There's small ands and big ands. This is a big one. And that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Who is? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, God the Holy Ghost. And how's He going to reward you? By your agreement speaking. Yes. And what does He reward you with? I'm going to break out in a song. <laughs> what does He reward you with? Glory. 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 You go from one glory to the next glory. Yes. You go from one glory and He rewards you with it. Is there anything in there? Everything. Everything's in there. It's not a punishment it's a reward and we see that Enoch went on to his reward you ever heard that yeah. and I'm not talking about dying here am I he went on to his reward I'm not talking about dying stop putting everything off till heaven right. do you remember this everybody does that I will get my reward when I goes to heaven <laughs> Have you heard that? Yeah. I'm going on to my reward. Stop putting everything off till heaven. We go from one to the next to the next now. Yes. We are changed now. Is this all right? Yeah. Yes. In this room. You can't tell me there's not everything in this room. Mm -hmm. You're too late for me. I've been here too long. I've seen too much. And it's so much better looking than you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So in this room, Holy Ghost worship and speaking in agreement with his word. Are you getting this now? Yes. You see why I say it all the time. Yeah. Holy Ghost is God near today and you walk with him by saying words. It's huge. It's big. It's ginormous. Yeah, it is huge. So let me give you a little hint here. You all right? Yeah. As you speak. Remember, we're speaking his word. God gives me power to get wealth. As I'm speaking his word, he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from it, my destructions, right? As I'm speaking his word, believe you are being changed. Yes, that's right. Because he said, without faith, it's impossible to please him. You're coming to God. You know that he's a speaking spirit. So I'm in this room. I'm worshiping him. I'm speaking his word and I'm believing that he is and that he's a rewarder of me I believe my youth is being renewed yes. because I call my youth renewed yes. yeah. as you speak believe you're being changed believe you are being rewarded Amen. it pleases God it's called faith Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you yes. brethren mm -hmm. by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice mm -hmm. yes. holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service now who is the God that's in your body holy, holy Ghost. Ghost now wouldn't it make sense then yes. to present your body to this God who is in your body who is a what speaking. a speaking spirit let me ask you a question is your tongue part of your body yes, yes. Well, that was a quick answer. Yeah. <laughs> your tongue is part of your body. It's actually, in my estimation, the most important part of your body. Yes. Wow. Why? Because with it, you walk with God. God, the Holy Ghost. Yes. Are you here? Yes. 
you're presenting it to him you pres when you say his word listen when you worship him I worship you Holy Ghost and you begin to say his word out your mouth you are presenting your body your tongue to God look at a living sacrifice holy his word is holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and those words reasonable service translated in many other translations spiritual worship Amen. verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed again it's literally the same word it's the same Greek word as was used for Enoch where he was translated same Greek word used for Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration where he was changed the fashion of his countenance changed same Greek word in 2nd Corinthians 3 18 it says where we enter the changing room changed from one glory to another glory yeah. same word yeah. he's saying the same thing yes. that you may prove what is the good acceptable and perfect will of God is that in your Bible yes. yeah. if I'm proving the acceptable will of God have I left the plain good good acceptable perfect and when you're in the acceptable the good it doesn't look so good anymore does it there's a lot of things that you would say about people well that's good that's good that's good but it's not it's not even acceptable for me anymore yeah you hear yeah. and when you go on to the next and we're being transformed and changed into the perfect will of God then the acceptable stuff isn't even acceptable anymore yeah. That's how you make the acceptable unacceptable That's right. yeah. That's right. I don't accept that <laughs> yes. there's a place where you don't have to accept things that you might have been okay with That's before right. yeah. so we are changed from glory to glory is that okay yeah. yes. I'm gonna keep changing yes. you know we're changed from glory to glory it's unending everything you can possibly imagine actually it's stuff you can't even imagine yeah. right now yeah we are able to be changed into it it's by worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word which is serving him thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve are you getting this yes. so thou shalt worship the Lord thy God who is he Holy Ghost. him only serve how speaking, speaking by speaking words in agreement with him yeah. it's pretty simple when you break it down mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today yeah. and we walk with him by saying words Amen. if you can understand that my friend you have become a Holy Ghost worshiper, worshiper. Yeah. Yeah. welcome into my room but the end is not yet says the Spirit Lord but you shall continue in this room and participate yes. in the glorious ending that I have prepared for you yes. so know that I have called you to be a participant yes. in these great and glorious days and fear not the enemy who would say otherwise yes. he doesn't know what he's talking about mm -hmm. we worship you Holy Ghost and we thank you for bringing us into this place and we are truly changed by you from one glory to the next glory say the process, the process has, begun has begun right now, right now. I, worship you, I worship you Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen one more thing the name Enoch literally means initiated you've been initiated into this society of Holy Ghost worshipers welcome so you can believe this you're not alone God.